After the settling period, the clean hands technician should hold the whirl pack bag below the bag outlet, and the direct contact technician should open the tubing clamp. Collect up to one liter in the whirl pack bag. After our relatively clarified liquid appears to be draining into the whirl pack bag or the whirl pack bag fills, the direct contact technician should close the tubing clamp. The clean hands technician can then close the whirl pack bag and place the sample in a shaded area for later use. The direct contact technician should then change their gloves and record the new water level. Now your team is ready to filter the sample. The viral cap filter housing has three ports. The top black port is the inlet, where the sample flows from the collection bag into the filter. The bottom black port is the outlet, where the sample flows from the viral cap filter housing back to the source water. The third vent port has a white end cap and is not used during sample filtration. Do not remove this white end cap at any point during sample filtration. The clean hands technician should place the two black end caps from the top inlet port and bottom outlet port of the viral cap filter housing in the small resealable plastic bag and place the bag in a secure location. This will keep the caps clean during filtration. Again, the white end cap should not be removed from the vent port during sample filtration. The direct contact technician should attach the medium length segment of PVC tubing to the collection bag outlet tubing adapter and the inlet port on the top of the viral cap filter housing. The direct contact technician should connect the long segment of tubing to the outlet port on the bottom of the viral cap filter housing and then position the other end of the tubing so it feeds back to the source water or other appropriate drainage location. The filtration system is now set up and you are ready to begin filtration. The direct contact technician can now open the tubing clamp and allow the bag to drain by gravity. The filtration time will vary depending on the volume and character and concentration of suspended solids in the water sample. At a minimum, at least 3 liters should pass through the filter, or 40 minutes of filtration time should pass, whichever is longer. If the entire sample passes through the filter, the direct contact technician can hold open the collection bag while the clean hands technician pours the collected sediments from the whirl pack bag back in. The water and solids collected in the whirl pack bag can then be filtered. Viruses absorb to particulate matter, and so this can potentially improve detection.